can you edit a YouTube video after uploading it? Yes, you can. I'm going to show you how to use the YouTube video editor. This is the inbuilt video editor that comes inside your YouTube studio and you get the option on every single video that you publish. I'm going to show you how to remove a section of video from a published video on your YouTube channel. Let's dive straight in. I've got YouTube studio open and on the left hand side, if you click on videos, what I'm going to do is go into the video that I want to edit. This video here, I made it all about what happens when you reach 1000 subscribers and the place that we are going to edit the section that we want to remove from this video is on the left hand side here because you have details, analytics and editor. It's the third step down. I find it really tricky using the inbuilt video editor. It can be really laggy and it can quite easily lose your place. <laughs> but I'm going to show you some workarounds to cope with trying to move around the timeline and trying to get an exact point of the section that we want to remove from this video. We have the, the viewer screen here so for hit play. Hello, welcome back to the Happy Hut. I'm Neil Mossy. I'm Neil, by the way. Hello. <laughs> I run the Great British YouTubers podcast and it's my mission to help creators get ideas out of their heads and, and onto YouTube. So that's why I'm making this video. But in this particular video, it's all about what happens when you hit 1000 subscribers. I thought when you hit 1000 subscribers, Creator Academy unlocks for you. And that's, that's not true. Creator Academy is available to anyone. So there's a section of speech that I want to take out. It's a mistake that I don't want to be out there on YouTube. Down here, you can probably see there's a there's a timeline and you can move this scrubber to the section that you want to play. You can see there's a time code there showing you where you are. And I know it's roughly at about eight minutes and 40 seconds. Let's play it from here. Now, this is where the first keyboard shortcut helps. If you hit the space bar, it plays from that position is access to Creator Academy. And I think you need to hit a thousand subscribers to access this area. This is what YouTube that's the section I want to remove. The first thing we need to do is to get the playhead, which is this line with the dot at the top, into the right position. So it was around 8.40, I'll just click back here. Is access to Creator Academy. And there, that's the point. Now I've hit pause. Now it's not the exact frame where the cut is going to start, but don't worry, we're going to finesse that in a minute. And we're going to use keyboard shortcuts to move around because it's much easier than trying to click it with your mouse. If you want to move back five seconds, there's a really handy key you can use on your keyboard. If you press the left arrow, you jump back 10 seconds. Put posts out. Oh, and the other toy. If you press the right key, you jump forward 10 seconds. Access this area. This is what YouTube Creator Cad. So now I'm going to jump back to roughly where I want the start point of the edit to be. And also you can see here on the time code, it says 8.52.23. If I hit the left arrow, it jumps back. So I'm going to hit the space bar again to start playing. This to Creator Academy. And I think there. That is where I want the start point of my edit. The first thing we need to do is to hit this button here next to the time code. It says trim. Let's hit trim. And the playhead, the line with the dot on, is roughly where we want the edit to take place. So we're going to hit split. Now that splits the video into two. Now we're going to open up a section, the section that we want to remove. And you can see a blue line appears and an arrow pointing to the right press the mouse button and drag that blue line to mark out the section that we want to remove. Now again, don't worry at this stage, we're going to make it absolutely frame perfect. That section in dark grey is the section that will be cut out. Before we finalise this, you can actually bring your cursor back to before the edit to get the playhead there and we're going to play and it will show you what this edit will look like. Which I wasn't really expecting is access to Creator Academy. And I think I might have a look at that because I feel like my channel. Now we're going to finesse this because this section is far too big. I want the cut to happen when the shot changes. Is access to Creator Academy. And I 
So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom in just so we can make it a bit more accurate. And you've got a zoom out and a zoom in tool here. So I'm going to click on zoom in, click it twice and see if that's complete. And I'm using my scroller to, to move left and right. So if I press play from here. To create an academy and I think. Right, that's where I want the in point of the cut to take place. Let's zoom in just a little bit more. And you can see it's just to the left of the blue line. And I haven't got the playhead on the exact frame that I want the cut to take place. This is where we're going to use another keyboard shortcut. On the keyboard, you have a comma key and a full stop key or period key. Forgive me, I'm British. <laughs> the comma button takes the playhead back one frame at a time. So if I hit it now, it goes back a frame and you can see it goes back a frame by looking at the time code. Can you see here it says 8.46.17. When I hit comma, it's 8.46.16. So that's eight minutes, 46 seconds and 16 frames. I'm going to keep hitting the comma key until the shot changes. There, my beautiful face. <laughs> That's where I want the cuts to actually take place. By the way, if you hit the period key or the full stop button, it goes forward a frame. So I'll go back with comma, comma. That's where I want the cut to take place. So now I'm gonna drag the blue line back to this position because I know that is the exact frame when I want the cut to happen there. And I can play it through just to show you that that cut now happens at the right point access to Creator Academy. I might have a look at that because I feel great. So the cut starts at the right point. Now I need the end point to be changed. It's, this section is far too big. It's only a few words that I'm going to remove. So I'm going to drag back the out point of the edit all the way back to here. And we might need to play it a few times just to get the right out point. So let's play this through. Creator Academy access this area. This is... So again, I'm now going to use the comma button to inch the playhead back one frame at a time to get the right out point. It's on this shot change here, there. So after this is where I want the video to, to start again. I'll use the period button or the full stop button to get to that shot change. Great. Now I need to drag the second blue line up to that out point. So let's drag it, drag it, drag it, and it should snap into place. So the section marked out in gray is the section that will be removed. And when I play it through, it should just jump to the next correct section. To me, this is what YouTube created. That looks good. Let's try that again. Is access to Creator Academy. This is what YouTube Creator Academy looks like. That's exactly how I want the edit to look. So the next step on YouTube Video Editor is to actually hit the preview button and it should play through the edit a lot more smoothly for you. Access to Creator Academy. This is what YouTube Creator Academy looks like. That's exactly how I want the edit to look. If this edit isn't how you want it to look, you can go back by pressing this button here, Edit Trim and it brings back the blue bars. Now, helpfully, it's also zoomed all the way out again. So if you use the zoom in button, it will take you to that section. Oh, it's so clunky. There it is. This is how I do want it to look. So I'm gonna hit preview. And now to finalize this edit, we're gonna go up and click the save button, save. Now you get a little helpful message. It might take a few hours for your changes to apply. Viewers will see the current version of the video you won't be able to make other changes to the video. So we're gonna hit save. And here there's a message, video is being processed, please check back later. It does take an hour or two to actually appear in real life. So if you have some, something contentious and you don't want anyone to see the video until your edit has been processed, you can always make your video private and keep checking back to see when the edit has been processed and gone through and published and made live. So does this help? Leave me a comment. If you want to see this video, what happens at 1000 subscribers, there's a link if you click on the eye at the top of the screen or it's in the description below. Why not click the thumbs up button to help other people to find this video? And if you're feeling 
even kinder, why not hit the subscribe button? It helps take me closer to the hallowed goal of 10,000 subscribers. And I hope that this edit works for you on the YouTube video editor. Thanks for watching. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye.